Thunder Mountain's named after? Red Canyon? This is Thunder Mountain Canyon. Oh, well, maybe. Like Disney's Thunder Mountain? Because this is what it looks like. It kind of does look like this, yeah. came to sunset point for sunset which the sun does not set behind the canyon like I expected so you really want to come well before sunset to light it up so we'll try again maybe in a couple nights sunset was 8 53 it's 8 30 and you can just see that little top part of the canyon that's lit so the sun is setting behind us all right, we are setting out on Navajo Loop. We saw a recommendation to take it clockwise. We haven't got to the point where it splits. Oh, I think it's splitting here. Yeah, we want to go to the left. That's what we want to come up. Oh, is that where we come from? Yeah, go towards two bridges. Yeah, there we go. Here's the split. So either way, you got to come out of that. We just climb down. All right, so we came down past two bridges and Thor's hammer. And let's go. All right, so there's two bridges, one up top, one down there. All right, so we're heading back up. This is towards Wall Street on the Navajo Loop. It was a stint of sunny, but get some shade now. And I can see the GoPro. I'm not finding the horizon to level. <laughs> it's not really this steep sideways. Here goes the chipmunk. It was like a centimeter away from us. It's got a little hole. Oh, there he is. Hi. And there it goes. Effortlessly. Oh, we should do that. And that's where we're heading. We got other little people. Oh, yeah, lots of hiding spots. Just gotta get like through all these switchbacks first. <laughs> street switchbacks all right it's kind of a mess but here's our site at Ruby's Inn so we stayed at Ruby's Inn which is just outside of the National Park entrance and we're in the back big rig pull through sections which the other sites you can fit in fine but this grass is awesome the dogs love it um, there are sprinklers for the grass you can see one here one is under our slide out because we wanted to have our camp set up here as opposed to in the gravel, which we see a lot of people doing. Maybe that's because of the sprinkler heads. They run in the middle of the night. So our chairs and stuff got soaked um, one of the nights. So we kind of just shoved everything off to the side late last night after we came back from stargazing. We're in the last row. So you have this view here where our deer can come through. And then you have this rock section with a fire pit as well. <laughs>
I, it came out, and it's this terrible iPhone quality for some night sky photography. So I'll snap a couple pictures in here. Did a night lapse. You can see the moon has risen. I think I caught that in the night lapse too. We'll find out. Just watch the sunrise. Now you can see the opposite side of the amphitheater, the light bouncing off the rocks. We were at sunset point. So gorgeous. Bring in all the horses to the stables for horseback riding. There's another pack back there. We're gonna be here a while waiting. Some pretty horses though. Yeah, what they're doing because they're not tied to each other. That's true, they just follow. There's another pack. All right, there goes the last batch of them. You switch drivers. Learner's permit here. He's trying to drive in every national park. And he yeah. is driving in all the national parks. This is his goal. All right, we're off. Here's the visitor center. Very busy. Ponderosa Point. All right, we're about to hit the Mossy Cave Turret Arch Trail. It says 0.9 miles. We're at the Mossy Cave parking, which is busy, but if you kind of wait, you can get a spot. And we're going to use all trails to navigate since we want to see the waterfall too. So we're off. But you can walk back along the river too. It will follow the water back. So we can follow the water back. Awesome. There's the first glimpse of the waterfall. Here's Mossy Cave. I see why it's called Mossy. So you can see all the moss growing. And then you can probably hear so not breathing too hard. The water trickling. So then in the winter, it forms icicles, which would be pretty freaking cool to see. And then that must be the little bit of water that flowed down and we saw like a trickling waterfall, not the main waterfall. It's probably a real waterfall during snowmelt. All right, so when you follow the trail to the waterfall, it takes you to the top. And then you can go back to, past the split to Mossy Cave, to that bridge, and then walk up to the water, which we'll do shortly. Let's check out this view, though. Don't come this way, come So the kids are in crops because they want to get in the water. So it's doable, just some spots you don't have to avoid. Well, these new shoes, remember, they melted off before I got new ones. It did say waterproof. So let's hope it's true. And we're on our way to the waterfall. 
I bet this is probably So you the... can stay just to the right, it looks like, out of the water, or you can go in the water. It's just a little off center, so we do it like that. But, so it won't be an equal hand. And the reason why you do that is because when you open it, if I cut it like this, you have very small holes. Mm -hmm. okay. But if you cut it like this, then you'll have more of a face on it. Okay. First person on the earth to see this. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Ready? Oh, oh look, see a little hollow oh, spot right there. Uh -huh. And see how shiny that is? Mm -hmm. And this crystal is a is a special name for it. Because if you look at it, you can see little veins. Mm -hmm. But being a professional, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> come across from the general store to get ice cream um, and it's like super cheap so I just got this cookie sandwich with salted caramel chocolate chip cookies coffee ice cream in between it was like two something um, and then go to the rock shop and you'll see we got a geode cut I know you don't want rocks in your camper because they're heavy but it's definitely worth the story and the experience all right last one of stuck summer away six Corner. Now it connects. Connects right. Slide. It All right, so this may look familiar. Like our, on our we are going, or... hang on, the camera looks dirty. Oh. Okay. We are going into the Navajo Loop again, um, starting at Sunset Point, but we're going to take it to Queen's Garden this time instead of towards Wall Street. So we parked the e bikes at Sunrise Point, which is there where you can see those people and then they wouldn't need a gate that way we can bike back here to the parking lot at sunset point where the truck is saves a mile off the hike all right here is where queen's garden splits off we're to head to it yeah wall streets to the right we're heading to the left that's what the other one oh okay i'm like how did we go that way Yeah. And we've hiked 0.75, so get a little over two. Just over two. Oh my gosh, I can't. We took the little branch off for Queen Victoria. We're not sure which one she is. So we're coming to the sign. Okay. That one up top. I knew it. That one. We need a different camera and zoom in. There's closer. <laughs> Look right there. Her head. Her arms, her throne. Yeah, I'm still seeing dinosaur right I mean, okay, a little bit, but... Oh, yeah, it's not very... It's a bit of a stretch. Can you film me, Mom?
Actually, no, I don't want you to film me. Never mind. She doesn't because she knows that you'll post it. Never mind. <laughs> We're good, girl. You good? Oh, that's pretty good. That's a drop off. No. Eh. Yeah. Kind of. And another tunnel. Oh, a chipmunk down there? Four chipmunks have been added to the list. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Oh, he's on the rock right there. Thing. We saw another chipmunk. Got another chipmunk for you. We have my keys in my zipper. No. No. You can't leave no. us. Oh my gosh, how cool. Alright, so lots of little rock tunnels to walk through, which I just love. Some switchbacks, nowhere near as bad as Wall Street. So I definitely recommend taking the loop this way. And if you can't tell by the glowing hoodoos, we started about six something for an almost sunset hike. I wonder if we're gonna go through that tunnel up there. Oh, yeah. We made it. Sunrise Point. Hi, we've made it back to the bikes with a giant detour. So maybe that wasn't the best tip. But now we get to take a bike ride through the National Park, which has this bike path that runs throughout the amphitheater part of the park at least and like down into Bryce Canyon City and I think almost towards like the Dixie National Forest Red Rock area. Last stop in Bryce. This is Ferry Land Point. There's a trail that takes off from here. Ferry Land Trail. Tower Bridge in four miles, 5.7 miles to Sunrise Point. Long trail. Oh, that's actually not my favorite viewpoint. <coughs> See all the evergreens? I only know that because the lady said it next to me. Oh, so smart. Unless the trail just wraps around, I don't see it down there at all. Huh? So the trail must wrap around, I don't see it down there at all. I think this is the first deer we've seen with horns. Antlers, whatever you call them. All right, just outside of Ruby's Inn, there's an RV wash which is much, much needed. Truck and RV are filthy. So we're gonna do that, then head out to Zion. All right, 
Anyway, someone's got to supervise this show. How they doing, boy? How they doing? <laughs>